So, as I mentioned you, echo is a very very important concept in the reflection of sounds. When you go to an open area, suppose think that you have you have gone to a hill station, and you're standing on you're standing on the high peak, and you have shouted. Suppose think that in front of you, long distance, you have mountains, and when you shout loudly, within seconds you can hear the, your sound again. One more example. You have gone to a auditorium which is empty, nothing is in the room, it's big room, nothing is there, and you shouted. Then you can see the you can hear the sound again and again. And generally we say this is a reflection of sound. Yes, it's a reflection of sound, but it's a special case of a reflection of sound which is called echo. So the definition of echo is very simple, it's a reflection of sound. But how you get your sound again and again how it is possible yeah let me explain you see the example here there is a car at a rest state blowing the horn and that horn is nothing but sound the sound travels towards the peak towards the peak and reflects and reflects when the car blows the horn the sound goes towards the peak the peak and reflects so the total distance traveled is d plus d 2d suppose think that in time t seconds the car driver heard the sound again and again which is the echo time then according to the formula speed equal to distance by time right speed equals to distance by time now if i write distance d i'm not correct because we are taking d means only one wave distance but here you need to consider the first wave and the reflected wave both so d plus d which is 2d by the time taken is t so therefore v equal to 2d by t implies d equals to v t by 2 so this is the formula for finding minimum distance to produce echo so what I wanted to want to tell you that in this room, if I shout, you can't hear any echo. See, I'm shouting. My voice is raised, but you can't hear an echo. That means it is not possible to produce echo in all situations. There are some conditions. Then only you can produce echo. That's why in the pre when the beginning of this echo, I have told you that you are at the peak in front of longer distances, you have mountain, then you shout, you can hear the echo. You, are, you have gone to auditorium, which is empty, big room. If you shout, you can hear the echo. So these are some conditions. So mathematically, what is the minimum distance required to produce an echo? See here, d equal to vt by 2. Now, speed of sound, let us take 330 meters per second. Time. See, this time is experimentally found. The scientists have done experiments. And they found that the time for producing echo is 0 0.1 second 0 0.1 second L minimum time 0 0.1 second then d equals to 330 into 0 0.1 by 2 so how much this is this is 33 by 2 which is 16.5 meters so the minimum distance between you or means between the source and the peak I means the reflector should be 16.5 or more than 16.5 if it is less than 16.5 you can't produce echo that's why here I'm standing I'm talking to you but I'm unable to produce echo because between me and the wall the distance is not 16.5 less than 16.5 but in the open areas and in the auditoriums the distance is very far very big that's why when you shout or you scream you can hear the sound again and again in this uh, problem, if you see 330 meters per second, I have taken that's why I got 16.5. But sometimes textbook shows 17 meters also. That is also correct. But that is correct when you take V is 340 meters per second. Okay. So we have considered that minimum distance is 16.5 meters. Now let us do numerical. See here. There is a peak. The car produces sound, blows the horn. After 4 seconds, 
he heard the echo. Now you need to calculate what is the distance between the car and the echo. So quickly write the formula d equal to vt by 2, v is 330 time is 4 by 2. So 2 to 4, so this is nothing but 660 meters. So that's how you can produce, you can calculate the distances. Using this echo concept, we have many applications. The main application of uh, echo is sonar. And maybe you heard about this word sonar. Sound navigation and ranging. The sonar technique used in the ships. When the ship is sailing on the water and the ship wants to find out any submarine under the water, enemy submarine is sailing or any animals, sea animals which are harmful to the people or inside the sea or any treasure if they want to find of any city they want to find, they can use sonar technique. So sonar technique works based on echo concept. See the board here. There is a ship, it is sailing on the water. Under the water you have a treasure. So generally what they do, using sonar machine, they send the waves. These waves travel into the water and reflects back. And what they do with the time of echo, the time of reflection, they usually find that what is the how distance between the ship and treasure. In other words, what is the depth of the sea? How far the treasure from the ship? In this way, they will do the necessary action. So, D plus D, 2D. V is the speed of sound by time is the t is the time taken. The same formula V equal to 2D by T implies the distance travelled D equals to V T by 2. So earlier what the formula I have derived, same formula you can use. But generally you know in sonar, we they don't use the waves what I am producing, what you are producing. They use special type of waves and those waves are called ultrasonics. Ultrasonics. Ultrasonic waves, a special type of waves. I will explain you within, within a few moments. So they send ultrasonic waves and ultrasonic waves uh, speed say it is 1500 meters per second in the water. Suppose in this example take t equals to 5 seconds. Then what is the depth of the sea? d equals to vt by 2, 1500 into time 5 by 2. So 2, 2.5, instead of simplify, 0, 0, 55, 75, 57, 37. So the answer is 3750 meters. So that is how the machine calculates. Actually, this is the mathematics we're using and calculating on the board, but the machine has programmed so that automatically calculates and shows the distance. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.